Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. Gold being recognized by the Central Bank of Central Banks. Wow, is this a game changer? So very exciting? Or maybe not. Perhaps this is just another case of overselling that which does not need to be oversold. Gold! Yes, you may see some rumblings. In fact, some of you may have already seen some videos out there and some commentary and stories about the Bank of International Settlements, which was created in 1930 as sort of the central bank of central banks. And uh, what they do is they kind of monitor and they are a, sort of a banking institution and set up standards for central banks for liquidity and the like. But... Uh, the uh, the rumblings have been going around talking about you know gold swaps by the Bank of International Settlements and how they rose by fifty six tons in February. There's things about the statement of accounts you know from the Bank of International Settlements talking about gold and gold loans and the like and where that's going and all this is leading to something probably much bigger. And they're saying that there's some event because the Bank of International Settlements meets in, uh, or they're headquartered in Basel, Switzerland. And there's going to be a meeting coming up where they're going to essentially recognize gold as a tier one asset. But uh, let's see here. This is from March 11th. And this talks about the Bank of International Settlements and the GLD. And this is coming from Sprott Money, considered the source. Again, but let's. It talks about her more proof of central bank gold price manipulation or simply an odd coincidence. If you're an avid follower of precious metals, then you no doubt noticed the tremendous rally in the prices experienced over the last 100 days from November 14th through February 20th. Global equity market weakness, falling interest rates, and a change in Fed policy all combined to send the COMEX gold price higher at 11.6% from 12.10 to 13.50 over this time period. With interest in the sector surging, uh, this same November to January period saw the stockpile of gold held in the inventory of the world's largest gold ETF, the GLD, grow as well. On November the 16th, 2018, the GLD registered a total inventory of 759.68 metric tons, but by January the 29th, this total had uh, grown to 823.87 metric tons. This is precisely as you might expect, given the higher prices gen generally lead to imp improving sentiment and demand for gold in all its forms. But then something curious happened. Even though price continued to rally into February, the total inventory of the GLD began to decline. In fact, by the time of the most recent price peak in February the 20th, the total GLD inventory had already fallen by over 27 metric tons. As the month continued and prices began to correct, the withdrawals from the GLD accelerated and the total inventory registered in February declined at 51.41 metric tons. Another 5.87 metric tons were withdrawn on March 4th, bringing the total inventory down 57.28 metric tons from the January 29th peak to nearly all the way back down to where it was, the price rally began back in November. And uh, so there, and here's a chart that kind of shows that. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, you know, a kind of a, a precursor to what's going on here. Um, and to it says that Robert noticed that the Bank of International Settlements had placed an additional 56 metric tons of gold swaps into the market in February of new shorts. And it's interesting. And they're talking about this thing that's going to be happening at Basel III, where they're going to be um, recognizing instead of bank of bonds, you know, uh, bonds being a tier one asset, they're going to talk about gold being that. And here's sort of the Basel III monitoring report from March of 2019. And nowhere in here I can find anything about uh, gold. And... Uh, you know, maybe it's going to be announced. Apparently, there's some meeting where they're going to announce this that will be occurring. Uh, but nothing in this report, at least when I search for the word gold, could I find it. There's tier two, seat one, additional tier one. And uh, but where they hold 
that and what they define as that tier one. Apparently, they're going to put a physical gold in there. But, you know, let's say that this does happen. Let's say they do um, have a mark gold and put it into the status as essentially money and operating as something of value as a financial asset to help save banks, central banks out there. And as you know, many central banks have been reported more gold holdings uh, as of late and um, a lot of increased hold gold holdings by central banks. So what's going to happen if they do make this announcement and they're going to recognize gold as a tier one asset? And uh, for the central banks, I don't think anything. It's just recognizing what's already been true. The fact that these central banks, many of them out there, including, by the way, the United States of America through the Federal Reserve System, you know, the fact that we have uh, central gold, hold gold, Turkey, China, India, many other central banks, Russia, hold gold. It doesn't change anything. All it does is this agency, which really I didn't even know existed, most people don't know exists, recognizes gold, which the central banks from which they bank to, or the, the bank of the central banks, are just recognizing what most of us already knew, what all of history already knows. And, uh, and really, for all intents and purposes, you know, most everybody sees gold as valuable in some sort or form or another if you have any idea or recognition of, uh, of money and the history of money throughout the years. So to me, in my view, this doesn't change anything. However, this is being uh, buzzed out there in, in uh, certain alternative media sources and uh, people are saying this is going to be a game changer. This is going to mean, you know, you know that uh, it's gold's going to continue to climb and the like. That may not necessarily be the case. Um, and if they're preparing for some for some uh, change in the system or an economic downturn, especially if there's something that's going to be a a fearful, uh, especially for many fiat currencies out there, and given them where the dollar is. You know, I believe that even as we speak now, and I've mentioned this before, and this is a pure guess um, as to what's going on, but I don't believe they're going to use the gold card yet um, as as the foundation because that would make too much sense to do that. It would also constrict them, those banks and those central governments around the world, the central planners, they don't want to be constricted. They want to be free to do whatever they want to do, hence Things like the New Deal, where to pay for it, you just have the Federal the, the Federal Reserve and the government just print all the money you need to do whatever you need to do as central planners. No, they don't want to be constricted by gold. So my feeling is, is they will they will create a reset of currencies and they will probably utilize technology, anything to make people feel better. And what better way to do that than through the blockchain? Something that will give the illusion of being uh, um, something that can hold them accountable because of the tracking mechanisms within the blockchain. And so they can say, well, okay, if we're going to do something with FedCoin, for instance, um, and make that the foundation for the dollar, you know, because it can be tracked and any new ones digitized or printed will be accounted for in the blockchain system or hash graph or whatever it's going to be in the future, then that's going to give some mode of confidence and, uh, and transparency or the illusion thereof. Now, we all know in this community that gold is the ultimate uh, safe haven. It is money. It has been money for thousands of years, and, um, and we understand its value uh, based off of that. And ultimately, I think everybody that's in a position of power understands it as well, too. But keep in mind, the same people who criticize, you know, the Rothschilds are now talking about the Bank of International Settlements and the Basel III meeting coming up here and uh, saying that this is going to be this game changer. And, uh, well, this thing was formed in the 30s, and I think the Rothschilds had something to do with it. So take that for a grain of salt. I'm not as convinced about this. <clears throat> and from the uh, cursory research I've done on it, 
I don't think this is going to really be that big of a deal. Now, what I do know is that gold is money. We know that gold is money, it's silver too, and we accumulate it as we see fit. Don't let stories like this, um, <clears throat> in my view, don't let stories like this um, influence your decisions to buy or not. You know, because what's more important is your own uh, uh, financial situation. You know, and you don't want to go into debt and buy out of a out of panic uh, for anything. Um, and understand that any gold you do have, treasure it. If it goes up a hundred dollars tomorrow, well, you have increased. If you have an ounce of gold, you've increased your price worth a hundred dollars. You know, if it goes down, that's okay. You hold on to it until you need to sell, and uh, and then you accumulate as you can afford to do so. But uh, keep in mind and and just be wary of what you see out there about this particular story. Uh, again, a lot of this is just kind of coming into light. I've received several emails and uh, and seen some other um, blurbs about it online. So I thought I'd just kind of bring this out to the community and see kind of what this means. It seems like you know a lot of people are talking about this Bank of International Settlements as some you know master organization. But most of us have never heard of it before. Central bankers, a central bank to the central bankers, you know, eh, sort of the behind the scenes type of deal. You know, we'll see how this all plays out. Um, you know, post your thoughts below about this story. Maybe I'm under um, reporting this. Maybe it should, maybe it's a bigger deal than what I think. Tell me where I'm wrong. Post it in the comment section below. But in my mind, I'm not as easily sold about stories like this, especially considering some of the sources of those stories. And I'm not talking about those of you in the community who've made me aware of it. Um, I appreciate all the information that is sent to me, but I'm talking about the originators of the story, the people that might be hyping as something like this up. You know, we, we hold these precious metals to be self-evident. They are what they are, and we have history to prove it. We don't need speculation, in my view. And to me, this just seems like another area that uh, could be potentially a nothing burger or a very small something burger. It could lead to something bigger down the road, but it may not. And in, your, in any event, uh, we know that to hold these precious metals, uh, to protect us from times of economic instability, that's what they're for, and we'll continue to do so. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching, and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.